pharmacist Eric Slindy is calling it a career at the end of this week after more than four decades of service to southeastern Minnesotans. Now, Slindy had an interest for pharmacy in high school, and over those decades, it became more of a passion and love for helping and caring for local people. Reporter Sarah Gannon has more. Hi, this is a pharmacist Eric. Eric Slindy started his pharmacy career in Austin, working there for two years before moving to West St. Paul. But he's called Harmony home since 1982, and the rest, as they say, is history. I made a lot of nice relationships with people, and uh, we really made a difference in, in people's lives. I think uh, rural health care and uh, small town health care is, is really important. He graduated from the U of M in 1978 and has seen a lot of changes in the pharmacy industry, especially over the past year in the COVID-19 pandemic. When I started, I was one clerk in a manual typewriter, you know, but now with the pandemic, it's been, uh, it's required a lot of creativity. Slindy and Sterling Pharmacy did its best to continue assisting customers through delivery, curbside, and a lot of phone calls. Then when the vaccine became available, the hard work continued as Houston and Fillmore County Public Health got the ball rolling. It's a lot of logistics, you know, it's not just it's not just uh, putting the vaccine in the arm, but it's contacting people, making appointments, sometimes billing insurance if that's required. So yeah, it's quite an undertaking and, and a lot of uh, a lot of calls, a lot of interaction for that. As a self-proclaimed people person, Slendy rose to the challenge to help the rural communities of southeastern Minnesota stay safe and healthy. Early on, it was really nice that we could call our patients and they could they could be vaccinated in their town or very near their town. And even though his days behind the counter are numbered, the memories will stay for a lifetime. Very much miss uh, miss my co-workers, but most of all I'm going to miss my patients, you know, because it that's daily contact, you know, that unique opportunity to be involved not just with their health care, but in their lives. And Slindy says he's looking forward to spending more time with his grandkids during retirement, and we wish him all the best.